Okay, we are at 802 16th Street, and uh, this is a small little community in Ruskin called Bayou or Bayou Pass. And so it's kind of tucked back um, and quiet back here. You go through some properties that are up to an acre in size before you get to this little development. And they are adding some additional uh, phases of the development just right down there. So it's a nice quiet drive in, very peaceful and quiet street. You're not seeing any traffic at all on the street. So go in and check out this cute little house. We've got some nice easy maintenance landscaping with the rocks. It's got pegs for the storm shutters. And they've got a nice heavy front storm door here. I've gone ahead and gone in and turned on the lights. But this would be your view from the front porch. Looks like it needs a new uh, street tree. All right, right when you step in, um, what you see is what you get. This compact little house, the main living area is all right here. Um, and then we can go back down a hall by that kitchen right up there to see the um, the bedrooms. So we'll start out. It does look like it's a wood plank to me. So nice, nice floor. It could could be a vinyl, but it's it's a real nice wood look. look and feel you know the more i look at it, it might be a vinyl but it's it's pretty plenty of room here so depending on how much couch you had this would be coming in off the garage so when you come in your garage which is a two-car garage and washer and dryer out here um, you would come right into the main living area of the home we walk ahead Plenty of room here for an even larger table. They've got a four seat table, but you could for sure fit um, a buffet here. Little compact kitchen. Has a pantry. Same floors. And then these countertops are not quartz or granite. So they're a little bit outdated countertops. No backsplash yet, so you can Kind of create your own design there but I do like how much covered space there is so lots of storage room at the counter here for two there's um, no gas in this neighborhood in Ruskin but they do have a, a nice oven and microwave combo it doesn't look like that oven's ever been used great shape cabinets are nice and clean sinks nice and clean so here would be your view from the kitchen while you're making dinner. Appliances. All right, let's go check out the bedrooms. So we take a little hall here, and down there is the master. We got a secondary room and another secondary room. So three bedrooms here total. This would be the shared bath. This is a great, better view of the floor, I think, to help you see. It's a pretty wood. Um, everything's in good shape. There's no deferred maintenance, not seeing any caulking issues. Nice and clean. Bedroom number one. It is carpet. It looks like the original carpet. And they've got a double bed in here. Bedroom two, same carpet, looks like another double. Could even be, yeah, it's probably a double bed in here. So a couple different ways you could organize the furniture in this room. It's not in bad shape. And then we've got the master bedroom. Now there's a rug here, so it makes me I think they're protecting the hearth. That's good. Um, it's an oversized room. They've got a king size bed in here. Big closet. 
This was a nice surprise. And then the master bath is a full-size bath as well, carrying that same pretty floor. This is probably the one they're using the most, and it's in great shape. Looks good. Right, let's go check outside. So the walls in the kitchen are this kind of a navy blue in the dining. It's just one accent wall. So it wouldn't take much to pop a different color in here. And then here's their in screened in enclosed patio. So we got a little, and again, you can't hear anything. There's not a lot going on out here. tight yard. Easy maintenance free, or very little maintenance. All right, let me know what you think.